Hey guys, it's Jenny here, and today I am coming at you with my biggest book outlet unboxing ever. So, if anybody knows me, you guys know that I have ordered from Book Outlet so many times. But this has been my biggest haul. I have a weapon. Okay. So, um... I have gotten, that was very satisfying by the way, I have gotten many, 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 many orders of books from Book Outlet. But this takes the cake. The second biggest I've had, I think, has been like 18, but this has 20 in it. Oh my god. And I think this is either the first or second time that I've ordered books in, um, Bargain. I mean, uh, Scratch and Dent. Oh, my receipt is all the way at the bottom. But I always have to get the receipt. But on the right side, like, uh, I don't even know what that noise was. Please don't ask. How am I going to do this? Don't look at those yet. They freaking had to send me two pages. That's how much I ordered. I actually forgot half of what I ordered. <gasps> I got a code. I got a coupon. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy books, and it's kind of the same thing. Wow. That was me summed up in a quote. I ordered 20 books and all of it together was only $55 even. It was a $75 value. But they had this crazy good deal going on. It looks like I got two scratch and dents total. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Where do we start? We're going to start with the little one. So, I got the Puffin Classics Edition of Tales of the Greek Heroes by Roger Lancelin Green. My arm is shaking. Um, so, Rick Riordan actually helps him write this. The introduction is by him. Yeah. Um, it's about it's their stories of Poseidon, Zeus, Hades, Artemis, Aphrodite, and yeah. So, that's exciting. But it's so adorable. Look at it. It's just so tiny. BT Dubs, did I mention that this box was 21 pounds? Um, this was 3 dollars It's so adorable. I love getting the uh, Puffin or the Penguin ones because they're just so small. Okay, so next is... Wow. Okay. Um, next I got Losing Faith by Denise Jaden. This is about... This is like a thriller mystery about this girl sister who died. Oh, this was... Oh, this was, um, on sale. It was 99 cents. Next I got... What's with all the stickers, man? Next... It's gonna bug me. I have to take it off now. So the next book I got was Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Um, this was one of my scratch and dents. This was two nineteen, and I can definitely tell it's scratch and dent. I mean, there's like this page is folded, which I don't really mind. It's like a little ripped and a little bent. Um, and just the edges are a little bit worn, but I don't mind. This is a really hard book to get your hands on for a good price. Um. And to be honest, I don't actually even really know what this is about. But everybody raves about Alexander Bracken. Oh, yeah, and this page is a little bit effed up. But it's okay. We'll just have to doctor it up a little bit. But yeah, this was only $2.19. Figured I'd pick it up because everybody loves Alex Bracken. Next. I got, wow, this book is thick in paperback format. 
I got Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass in the paperback editions because you know me, I have to have all Sarah J. Mass books in hardcover and paperback. So I actually have the hardcover version of Empire Storms up there, which I got from Book Outlet as well. I love how thick her books are in paperback format, but they're also very daunting at the same time. So this is book five in the Throne of Glass series, and I snagged this for only three seventy nine. Next, I kind of want to save the hardcovers. Next, what is with all these stickers? Anyways condition besides the sticker next book i got was city of lost souls by cassandra claire this is book five in the moral instrument series i thought this was gonna match the book that i already have but i don't know if it will yeah it does cool um i wanted to get them in the old covers just because i like them so i finally found it on book outlet and this was only Next, I swear to God, there's another sticker. Um, the next book I got is Diary of a Hunting by M. Verano. Um, this is a really scary book. I think it resembles like paranormal. What's that called? Paranormal Activity. It's like super creepy. I'll probably read this in like October. I got this for $3.79. This video is going to be so long. Me just now realizing how many freaking hardcovers I got. Okay, the next book I got is finally in super, super, super good condition. The next one I got is Beware the Wild by Natalie C. Parker. Um, a lovely modern fairy tale as tangled and dark as a swamp it lurks in. American myth at its very best. It's like a supernatural story. And this was uh, 319. Yeah, it's like this sci fi, paranormal, like supernatural kind of thing. Okay, now we're hitting contemporary season. I got, finally got 99 Days by Katie Catugno. Um, Everybody raves about her. And um, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Casey West. Everybody raves about her and Casey West and I finally just decided to break down and buy 99 Days. They had her other book on there, Fireworks I think maybe, um, but I just decided to pick this one up. This was $3.19. I don't even remember putting this book in my cart. Well this is called Mad Miss Mimic by Sarah Henstra. And I legit have no idea where this book came from. This was three nineteen, but I I don't even remember putting this in my cart. Um, it's a historical fiction, and that's all I'm gathering from this. Historical fantasy, maybe I don't know. It looks cool. Okay, the next book I have. What is this book? Proof that I legit don't even remember what I ordered. But this is called My Name is Memory by Ann Brashers. Uh, this is a rom- like a time travel romance something. Uh, this is 319. I have a very diverse selection of books in front of me. And I have a very diverse selection of paperbacks and hardcovers. Yeah. Next book. Ugh. Oh, this sticker's gonna be a pain in the butt because this book is like paper. I finally got Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Yes, I know I'm so late to the party, but it's okay. Um, I got this for four twenty nine. Um, this says it was bargain book, but there is like a slice in the spine, like where somebody cut it with like a packing knife or something. You can't see it on camera. There's like a slice that goes from here down to here. 
Um, but I'm so excited to read this. Everybody raves about this book. It's like this dystopian utopia or something like that. Um, I think I told you guys what I got it for. Okay, next. Uh, we're moving on to the hardcovers. First cover, first hardcover I'm picking up is called Dark Horses by C Cicely von Ziegasar. Yeah. Oh, she's the author of Gossip Girl. Ooh. Um, all I know is that it's one of those books that, that's about, like, a damaged girl and a damaged horse and they bond. I love the turquoise. Um. This was three nineteen. Okay, but for real, guys, I really need to invest in another bookshelf because I am currently resorting to putting my books in boxes because I literally don't have any more room. Okay, the next book I got is actually a book I only picked up because I saw Emma Books raving about this on Goodreads, and that is Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. I just realized I got two Neil Schusterman books in this. Um, but yeah, I believe this, this centers on a boy with schizophrenia. I think. Um, anywho, I got this. For four twenty nine. I literally just gave myself a paper cut. Wow. Nice. Yeah, she was raving about this book, so the next book I got is Drowning is Inevitable by Shalonda Stanley. Um This is just one of those like darker contemporaries. Ooh, the spine. Um, this is, this was a dollar nineteen. Ooh. The next one I'm picking up is Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savit. I think that's how you say it. Um, this, all I know about this is that this is like a historical fantasy, spiritual historical fantasy that centers during the Holocaust. Um... Yeah, I believe she's a Jew, and yeah, all I know is that it's like a spiritual, like historical fantasy. This was two nineteen. Next hardcover I'm picking up. Ooh, this is a very pretty book. Is Zero Repeat Forever by G. S. Prendergast. Um, he has a heart, I certainly hope, ooh, that spine crack. What? I don't know what this is about. Oh my god. This spine is so pretty. Um, I think it's like a sci-fi dystopian. And this was only three seventy nine. Ah, oh, I forgot. It. Oh, it's so like buttery and soft. There's another Target sticker that marks three Target stickers that I've had so far. Next book I got is "And I Darken" by uh, Kirsten White. This has been a book I've been wanting forever, but it's before it, it was on book out. It was like eight dollars, and um. I forgot what the book was called. It was still $8, but I mean, hey, it was on sale, so I didn't really care. It was $8, but this book feels so nice, and it's so gorgeous. Like, look at this. It has that really buttery matte texture. Ooh, there's like a stamped in black rose. Oh, my arm hurts so bad. But yeah, all I know about this... Oh, no, there's a rip in it. Sad. This was supposed to be a bargain book too. Book outlet. Come on, man. Okay. This is like a political... I forgot. Yeah, something about the Ottoman courts. It was like seven forty nine. dollars 
Uh, this has been like the most surprise book haul for me as well. I don't even remember half the crap I bought. Okay. What the heck? This was supposed to be a bargain book too, but this is used. The spine is disconnected with the pages. And this is, this is an ex library book. It's got like these things on it. Anyway, I got um My Sunshine Away by Emma Walsh. This is like not a bargain book. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the spine, like the cover is just connected with the pages. So it's like overly floppy. And there's also like rip marks on the back page. Um, and the jacket is pretty beat up too. Um, this is a thriller about a girl getting attacked in her home in 1989. This was 639. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> honestly, this may be the biggest book haul ever I've had from Bogella, but this is honestly like the most irritated I've ever been with them. <sighs> well, that will be the last time I order Scratch and Dent ever. usually not picky about my books, but when there's a cut mark right through the front of the cover, it's like, really? Really? No. I paid $4 for this, too. $5, actually. So I got The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. This book is pretty damaged. There's, like, a big chunk taken out of the pages up there. Um, and as you can see... Let's see if the book itself is like super damaged. Yep, there's a cut across the, uh... Nice. Okay. All I know is that this is, like, about magic finally evaporating from New York. Magic is extinct in New York. And this was four seventy nine. The last book I got... Um, another sticker. <sighs> You're killing me, Smalls. Oh my god. I promise none of my other book outlet hauls have been me being this negative, I swear to god. I'm always, like, super pleased with my books, but today I'm like, boys, you can do better, I know it. Anyways, the last book I got was Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This is book, um, one, two, three, four, five, six in the Throne of Glass series. What? I think this centers on Kaol. Another Throne of Glass book. So that concludes my 20 book book out haul. Let me make sure I wasn't missing anything. Wouldn't that be the icing on the cake? <laughs> I think I got it all. And I did get a coupon, so yeah, I got a lot of good books here. That concludes my biggest book out haul thus far. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you again for watching.